Welcome back to Kenshi. We are out hunting our animal friends right now because our our lovely animals are out of food. So we're going to go on a little bit of a hunting trip. And uh, we're just down here at the High Village with our original 14, the four archers and our main attack squad. And uh, yeah, we're going to kill a couple of gorillas and a couple of beak things apparently that are just hanging out right behind us and didn't even catch that. And what we're going to do, well, to be fair, the gorillas I think only have leather, right? Not even any meat on them, so we'll uh, we'll focus on the beak things for a bit. But yeah, the uh, the uh, our animal squad actually is a little bit malnourished because our trough was empty for a bit. So we'll get them some food, and we'll spend a little bit of time here. One thing I forgot last episode, I've made a, just a couple of changes. Uh, let's see, who's over here? Laura? I'm going to leave the leather. Actually, let's go back over home. How, I don't really know how we're doing on leather. I've not checked our leather stock in so long now. Do we need more leather? Are we okay? Oh no, we're fine. We are we are super set on leather, in fact. Okay, got it. Good to know. Uh, what I did was add another iron plate refinery because... Uh, and oh, we also researched the next level of iron mine. Sorry, iron refinery. So I'm going to upgrade these two. Although, got to be careful. We need to actually stock up. Let me turn off the power on both of these steel refineries. I added one more steel refinery. That was at the end of the last episode. I added another iron refinery down because we actually need to keep up with production. Uh, we're, we're almost out of... Uh, we're out of steel... of iron plates because everything is using steel bars right now. I also added Terra on a permanent job to make bolts because we need a lot of bolts for our new archer squad and Stork can't really be bothered because he either we need him to train up on his weapon smithing for a while not crossbow stuff so I'm gonna pull Terra from her you know her normal grindy duties of smacking a copper whatever it happens to be and we'll just have them work on that for a bit so Terra's making bolts and hopefully we'll catch up on uh, bolt production down the road. It's going to take her a long time to to get that skill up, uh, but that's okay. We've got we've got plenty of time before everyone's going to be decked out. Although we're already up to stone and uh, yeah, just stone in terms of who has a eagle's cross. So we need three more eagle's crosses, and they'll be all sorts of caught up. Let's just have you drop that secret. You guys are all training still, right? Perfect. Okay. Hopping back over to the main squad. Are you guys fighting hand-to-hand, -hand or... No, you're just shooting things. Okay, fair enough. So yeah, this episode's gonna be a rest and stock up episode. We're gonna make sure that our crafters have their uh, needs met. Everyone else is gonna be practicing their skills. I think our main squad has earned the right to not have to worry about that as much anymore these days. Now maybe, at towards the end of this episode... Maybe we can send a small scouting force up north. Do we want to try to set up a very small outpost and then build a bigger outpost around that? And what I mean by that is having something like, say... Uh, say we do something like... I guess big enough to... Big enough to put like... Three or four... Um, refineries in and that's really it. I don't know if that's what we want to do, or if we want to just go the, the full-out, build-the-base kind of a thing. We'll mess around with it. We'll find the right balance for us. I, I I still really love the idea of going up north. I think that's going to be a really fun challenge for us. Uh, we can always launch raids from there. We can even have our main squad stay at the outpost down here. And uh, we could set up a trade route, and I don't think it's something you can automate. But it is something we could probably manually run. Although, man, that would be a long, long run. With an animal, too? Like, if we're doing... We'd have to use humans, probably. Could you imagine a trade run for, like, bringing food all the way down south? That would be insane. Or vice versa. Maybe we split up our farmers. Maybe that's an option. Why don't we, why don't we have just a farmer or two here at our outpost making dust witches... And, and just stocking up on dust witches only. Really, just just that's it. Just have them and maybe a couple turret guards. And then maybe we have our main base up north have uh, their own separate food supply. That might be smarter than having everyone... Like, we do a long trade run every so often for food. We could just do a trade run for goods. You know, we could bring down 
uh, a nice amount of supplies if we wind up having a ton of metal or a ton of uh, whatever it happens to be, equipment. We could still do another recruitment run. We haven't, we've not uh, checked out... I don't think we've recruited in World's End, have we? We've not recruited in World's End in a while, if we have. I don't think we ever did. And we've not touched the desert in ages. We should make a return visit to the desert for a recruiting run. Maybe they could be the next batch of turret guards. Maybe we have 12 turret guards, two, uh, six on each outpost. That could be really, really strong. We're going to have 10, or do we have 10 now? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 10 archers, 22 main fighters. At this point, almost as soon as we get some more automation, one person can basically run, I think, almost all of the equipment. Maybe two people could run all the uh, production. It, uh, it could be pretty fun. Love how fast we're taking these guys down. Super high damage. Can we actively see any big things? I don't see any right now. I want to pull, uh, maybe like pull a, a pack of them to the city. Maybe there's a nest somewhere around. Just imagine once we have all ten of our archers, how just how brutal our firing line is going to be here. As something giant, you know, ginormous starts to attack us, we're probably going to be able to take care of. Uh, all of the leviathans from range. I doubt we'll even have to send people in. I'll probably experiment with that just to see how much damage we're doing. Did we already loot you two? We looted this one. Did we loot this one over here? Okay, I guess we did. Alright, let's swing the camera around. I don't know if I see any. It's so hard to see the beak things in this particular rain. Don't they normally have, like, a little camp up here somewhere? I think this was the first time we ever really hit Pater, was up here. <clears throat> when Beep was coming back, I think, from the High Village, maybe? Or he was he was doing something. Or or maybe the other group found it. We, we stumbled upon that massive group of Beak things and all of their goodies. Oh, here we go. One, two, three, and four. And, uh, yeah, that was our first really big payday, if I remember right. We, we wound up making, like, 30 or 40,000 off that because of all the eggs we had. So, very awesome. Very, uh, worthwhile. All right, how much food do we have now? I know, let's get a little bit more. Maybe, maybe one more group of beak things and we'll be all set. So, we could... Well, on that note, then, it really depends on how we want to deal with defenses. I, I don't know what happens when you have two outposts, actually. Do you get two different sets of raids? Like, do you have the groups that would normally raid your base in the south? Like, say we obviously set up here, so we get Band of Bones raids every so often. Do they start raiding you up north? Or do we have, like, cannibals come from up north to raid us down south? I don't, I don't know if it would change too much. We could take half of everyone, really. We could uh, we could do another recruiting run. I'll tell you what, while we're just sitting here, not doing much, let's take uh, let's take Boop actually. Boop has been pretty beefy right now. I don't think I think he needs to work on his athletics for a bit. So a long running order would not be a miss. Let's have him head out. I don't want to get him killed. Let's do the same thing Beep, uh, Beep did. Let's send him through Holy Nation territory. And we're going to send him all the way up to the shield. And we're going to go to the desert with Boop. <laughs> Forgot what it's like to have crappy stealth. Well, you'll be there eventually, my friend. We'll keep an eye on you. Yeah, we'll send Boop out to the desert. We could send Beep too. Boop and Beep together forever. Let's do that. That makes me really happy. I want Boop and Beep to be friends. I want them to be BFFs. And yes, they're going to be running at the same speed for each other. Whatever's best for uh, both of them. Yay! Boop and Beep. The Beep Boop Detective Agency. Aw, oh, you got spotted. Well, that didn't take long at all, huh? What if we say that Boop didn't even know that Beep is coming with him? And Beep just surprised the crap out of him?
What if these slave mongers are gonna try to attack us? Get ready to run, dud, my friend. Uh, I don't think so. Okay, fair enough. What was his assassination up to? Because he actually had a really high chance of assassinating somebody. 50 of 49%. Beep has almost a guaranteed assassination on every single one of these guys. That's fairly impressive, I think. I want to shadow these guys for a second because I wonder, I wonder if... Let's do this. Let's not sneak. Let's see if the dust bandits attack us. Okay, I want to see if I can kite the dust bandits into the slave mongers. Oh. You guys not want to attack? Okay, well, let's do this for fun. Where do you go? Okay. I want to see some sweet martial arts. Holy crap. Boop, what are you doing? Get rid of that. Holy shit! <laughs> are you serious? What was that? A running knee thing? That was amazing. Are you guys just going to take on their whole squad? Oh shit, bows. Okay, run. <laughs> that's that's about it. We're not going to take on the entire squad by ourselves, but that was really impressive. One of them had this flying... I think that was Boop, actually, because Boop has a bit higher martial arts skill than Beep. Between you guys, can you, like, assassinate their whole group? Let's try this. From, from, from behind, without them seeing anything. Let's see how many Beep can knock out. Oh man, I'm gonna have too much fun with this. I guess you have to be right next to them in order to do it. <laughs> oh, uh, snipers are taught to uh, if people are in single file and you have to attack a group, you can attack them from the the back to the front. In theory, that hopefully the sound might mask. Might be masked and you never hear the people in the back falling over. <laughs> Is there a reason for this? No, not not whatsoever, guys, but come on. It's awesome. Let's have Boot come join him. Let's see if we can fight the entire group after this. Well, the entire group, I mean... Oh, to be fair, they're actually going to wake up pretty soon, so let's not do that. Okay, that was fun for a minute. Bye, guys. See you later. Don't shoot Beep in the back. No. Yeah, shoot your friends in the back. Perfect. Our archer group would be so proud. Oh, I forgot about everyone over here. Uh, okay. They're still hunting. We managed to pull a nice pack. Where all the damn, uh... Our friends go? Is someone getting attacked right in front? We still managed to shoot each other in the back of the head. Nice. Always good to see. That's fine. Our group can fight this off. Get them before they attack. Nice. Nicely done. Shoot her! Or, you know, cut her. Whatever works. Okay. Uh, boop and beep. Let's re-engage your stealth order and have you uh, wander up down the valley. Up down the valley. More dots! More dots! Okay, stop dots. Alright. And we'll loot the fallen here. And that should be good in terms of our food supply for a bit. For both the animals, and we got ourselves a good deal of meat on the on these creatures, too. So, alright, homeward bound we, uh, we go. Let's have everyone do the run command to the other side of the outpost. Hopefully there's no beak things waiting in ambush for us on the way back. You guys are running slow. Somebody must have taken a... Oh, yeah. Laura's got pretty decent leg damage. That's okay. No big deal there. Once they're over this hill, I'll switch back over to... Um, no, I don't know. I guess Beep and Boop. Why don't we have them run instead of Stealth? That's going to take forever and a day. And Boop needs to get his uh, his athletics up as well. His strength is already fine. I don't think we need to work on strength anymore, right? Yeah, he's at 54 strength. 
he did, I think he did like three shots in a row with that, that running knee to the face and then like a follow-up punch or something. He did a ton of damage on that. I think one of the shots was in the hundreds. So, yeah, maybe we're doing it wrong. Maybe we need to have a bunch of martial artists uh, clobber le the Leviathans all at the same time. We'll let the slave mongers in. Jeez. <laughs> oh, you guys, what do we talk about with slave mongers? We can't let the slave mongers in just because they want to come in. All right, so these guys are pretty quick now, so they're going to be able to outrun most anything they find. So beep and boop onwards to uh, Okran Shield, and then we'll pass through into the desert and see what kind of uh, how many friends we can find. What are y'all doing? I like to self juke. Come on, God, I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate navigation in this game sometimes. Holy shit! Let's go, <laughs> let's go. There we go. Gonna give me white hair, you guys. Alright, I guess we'll have to micromanage them just a smidge. Okay, archers, could you please kindly... Would you kindly... Uh, drop all your goodies off. Nice, and done. And we'll drop the rest of their meat off. And we'll go back to whatever everybody was doing at the time. So let's follow Beep and Boop on their adventures north. Let me do a quick save here in case the game crashes. My other pet peeve. Only for Kenshi. Oh, look! It crashed! <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and luckily that quick save caught just before we, we bound out of here. So, onwards and upwards we go. Let's reinforce that run order. Everyone else back home is okay. Uh, Laura needs to go take a nap. Let's have somebody carry her to bed or run away from her. That's fine, too. <laughs> what are you doing? You must have a training order. No? You just really didn't want to sleep there, I guess. Crazy. Crazy kids. Okay, back to boop and beep. Hopefully changing uh, focus didn't crash it again. Okay. I'll try not to jinx that anymore. Hey, it's like nostalgia coming home, guys. Welcome back to the uh, the valley of hatred and, and bile and sexism. <laughs> Man, I've been so much happier since we left the Holy Nation territory. I'll tell you what. That was not a pleasant group of friends to hang out with, huh? Yeah, that's that's the truth. Hey, let's run right through the middle. See how they fit. Wait, who said that? It must have been Boop. Is you know, Beep doesn't say anything but Beep. Hey guys. How you doing? We're just a bunch of uh, you know, uh devil things. Why do they not even care? Do they not care when they see you in... No, they care, right? They hate They hate the Hivers, I thought. Maybe they didn't respond because we're not in a camp, so therefore they didn't see the heathens alone in a camp or something like that. Hmm. Quite curious. Please don't crash. My soul can't only take so many crashes. Hey, there we go. All right. Beep and Boop are heading out. Doing fine on their own. We'll come back to them in just a few minutes. So on the note that we were talking about earlier, we could leave. We could we could really pare down the base a lot. I mean, we don't have to uh, by any means, but we could wind up doing... We'll take, like, Kai with us, Stork with us, all the animals with us as well. Or we could split the animals half and half. You know, honestly, if we leave two guards here, Two of the crossbow, sorry, the uh, the turret guards. I almost want to say that our animals should be able to handle almost anything that comes at them. Because they're almost all elders. No, not quite. But a lot of them are elders at this point. The dogs are hitting like tanks. I bet with two with two guards on duty, we might be able to hold the the entire base. I guess it just depends on the size of the attack, but we could leave the dogs here. 
uh, take the main squad north, or leave more guards here and take the animals with us to help fight off whatever we get attacked with. I think we're going to get raided. If we go north, we're going to get raided by cannibals. That would be the big one. So cannibals are going to be the biggest threat. I mean, they're not really a threat. You can mow them down like candy. They're very, very low... I don't know, what do you call it? Low health? Low low body part damage? So it's not, it's not the biggest problem to deal with. All right, let's give our guys an order over to this random spot inside the desert. So they should move right through Oak and Shield. Hopefully they won't take any shots. I'll zoom over to them in just a second. You know, we can take our laborers because we'll need the new iron plates and all the crafting materials up north. So we could take all that with us. But we really would just need maybe two wheat farms and one cactus farm at that point. And then we could just have them grinding up uh, dust, which we could make one of the farmers be one of the chefs here. And they could just grind up a nice supply of dust, which is, by the way, I did manage to stash a bunch on Tiny. So we didn't just lose everything. Uh, but yeah, that way, that way we could have food here for whenever a, a group needs to come use this as a, a launching platform. You know, like to go on a raid or something. They could come here first, stock up on food, come back here to rest... And then move out again. So this could be our southern, quote unquote southern. It's not really far south, but it's it is farther south than it would be up here. So we could use this as our, our staging point. Obviously well defended. It would just be it would be like a skeleton crew type of situation. Uh depending on how this this recruitment drive goes will be the real answer. Oh wow, we just blew right on through the shield apparently. Do we take any damage at all? Not really. All right, I'm going to watch these two for a bit, make sure that they don't get et by any kind of uh, friends in the desert. Coming home will be interesting, because we are going to have to deal with brand new recruits, so if we can't quite give them a, you know, a full run command and just hope they do the best they can, we probably have to watch this new recruit group if they're coming home. Make sure that they avoid most of the sand friends over here. Ugh. I remember, I think when we were here... Back way back in episode one, we mostly tried to run between the safety of the different groups that, uh, that were available. A little bit of artifacting there, I saw. Hopefully the graphics aren't going to crap out on us, too. But you can mostly run from, from the cover of one patrol to the cover of another patrol without too many issues, right? You can, you can just bounce off them. Uh, well... If you're by yourself and you're weak, the slave mongers will try to attack you. We found that out. A bunch of jerks. <gasps> you know what? While we're here, I bet if we could find ourselves a noble... I wonder if the noble has any money or has anything on them. Look, it's another guy and his dog. Oh, it's like we. It's like us. Just uh, with two arms, huh? Sorry for the volume change. As, as soon as the dust storm hits, the audio just, like, r skyrockets. I'm gonna bump that down just for the duration of the dust storm, hopefully. Or until next episode. Oh, home sweet home. We do love the desert, don't we? At, at this point, Beep could probably knock out anyone who has a really high uh, bounty as well. And just, and just pick them up and turn them in. Do another quick save. Yeah, because I remember nobles. We didn't we didn't do too much with nobles, except we must have pissed one off at some point where we got too close and, and didn't listen to their orders. So Go on through. Thank you. It's so kind of you. Uh we're here for all of your men's and women's, please. Uh, by the way, I tried slavery. I tried to hire some slaves before, thinking that they would join us in our squad if we freed them. You actually don't get that. They they treat them as alloy, uh, allies, basically. So we didn't have the same options as we did before. Oh, we never did set up a shop counter. I don't know if shopkeeping is working. No, not those guys. We want to look for new recruits. Hey, how convenient. Uh, it's Gurgle. Hi, Gurgle. You're about to join the show. Okay, so we're going to look for our list of... Sorry about this slow rotation. Let's grab somebody from our uh, our list of subscribers. 
And real quick, let me look at the other section here. Some folks were asking about things. So I was thinking about uh, ways to add people into the group. Okay, so Gurgle, uh, Gurgle the Gunner. Yes, we are recruiting. I think I'm going to hire Gurgle, and I think I'm going to rename him Solnir. Uh, that should do it, I believe. Give me just a quick second to make sure I'm spelling things correctly. Cool, so Solnir, welcome to the show. I wonder how thick and strong Hivers can get. Can we make, like, super beefy Hivers? <laughs> Doesn't really fit their background, but it's pretty funny. God, look at those crazy legs. How do you even balance? Like, don't you get stuck in wood and stuff? Seems dangerous to me. All right, anyone else want to come join a party? Uh, really? Nobody? Oh, hey, look, people. I'm looking to join a band. Uh, got any skills? You can hold your own in a fight. Uh, that sounds good, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll do... Let's take a look. Okay, so I think we'll get Hanbu. Nice. Uh, I don't really have any... Let's see, I could also add... Let's do this. Let's do Lair. We'll join you into the group. Uh, it looked like there was somebody else available that was a medic. So why don't we grab a medic as well? And Frosty, welcome to the show. Perfect. Nice, this is already turning out to be fairly lucrative in terms of new recruits. Uh, is this another a random drifters here? A drifter person? Great, I mean, this is awesome. Because really, really, this is this is exactly what we're recruiting for. Uh, we're recruiting for turret guards. So, it works for me. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, let's grab the other person from our group. I guess we'll go with uh, Myru. We don't have a Myru yet, do we? I don't believe so. It's a pretty unique name. Welcome to the team. Now, how many folks does that make? We wound up getting one. Did you guys have a negative on crossbows or uh, turrets? No, they're, they're pretty average, so we can still have the new recruits on turrets. We wound up getting four new recruits for the turret squad. We already have four, so I guess we just need two more to make an even eight. Or, yeah, five on each, maybe five to each base. That could be an option. Do we want to try to grab just everyone here, if it's possible? That way we could all get the same skill together. Alright, I don't think there's anyone... Oh, there's a couple more roamers coming through here. Does anyone else want to join up? Doesn't look like it. Let's see. I, I'm sure there's another bar in town. Let's see if there's anyone else in... Uh, or is there another bar? Maybe there's not. Okay, so it looks like there was just one. Was that what we were just in, or was it not? Yeah, that was the one we were just in. Okay, so that's all from this place. Let's have them start heading over to Heft. And I'll do a quick save. And speed things up so our folks can get on the way over to Heft, and then we'll grab... If we can, we'll grab a couple more recruits. Maybe we could grab somebody else for maybe uh, a farmhand or something like that. That might be an option. Everyone is running off at their own pace here. You guys get back together here. Do a little bit of shadow running. I hate the desert. <laughs> I forgot how much I didn't like starting here. Super, uh, super painful. Bad, bad memories. Lo losing a leg, losing an arm. Uh, are you going to chase us? I hope not. I'm kind of just letting the, um, the characters choose their own pathing right now. But yeah, I think at the end of this episode, I'm going to try to get a little caravan together to start heading up north. The only thing that I may have to wait on is Stork's ability to craft weapons. I think I'd want to have some decent weapons 
before we head out that way. We don't have to have that. We don't have to have, like, edge-level weapons. If he just tries to make an edge weapon right now, I think he would wind up making a Mark II quality blade. I think we're about to crash. Nope. Hey, wonderful. Uh, so if, you know, if we had him try to make that blade and he couldn't, he'd make a Mark II or a Mark I. That's still a good blade. And we could split the blades up a bit so everyone gets a mix, but we still have new recruits with, uh, we'll still have new recruits with fairly little skill in these brand new weapons. So it's not important that we make legendary weapons yet, but I would like to have at least the main squad perhaps have, uh, have every one of those, uh, all of those members have a falling sun of some quality. That would be my, that would be my preference before we head out that way. I'd also like to finish off, let the archers have their, uh, all of the archers have their eagles crosses. Whether or not they can use them is a different story. Because not everyone has the same ability right now. The only other thing I might look for is one more chef. So that we can have a dedicated cook wherever we go. Are you a chef, literally? Did I just get lucky on you? Who wants a, who wants a Lantern of Radiance? Who has a Lantern of Radiance? None of you guys do, right? Oh, that's funny. Uh, need a chef. Well, yes, we do. Yes, we do. All right, so this is going to be... Uh, Felix. Welcome to the chef crew. Chef Felix. Oh, we will put you in the laborer squad down the road. This is a mercenary group. We don't really need mercenaries to guard us. Although, it would be kind of cool if we get a brand new base. We could use them... To guard the new base while it's getting built up. That's a possibility. Uh, more of our thieves guards friends here. Neither of you guys want to join a group? Okay, so we just still need two more people. And that is all we need for... Uh, to even out our... Our guard... Squad. The turret squad. Oh, oh, he's so cute. Look how small he is. Poor guy. Alright, so Dana, we're going to rename you. And we're also... Did you have a friend here that might want to join as a turret guard? What are you? Uh, you're a plastic surgeon. I don't think anyone needs to be renamed or... Adjusted feature in the feature area yet. Uh, either of you two want to join? <gasps> One more person? I think this will be it. You're probably some kind of smith. We might could trade out somebody from the bronze squad uh, and have this person focus on smithing. Maybe, like, they could do crossbows or something. Uh, yes, that's fine. Congratulations, you're with us now. Cool. Uh, all right, let's do... Uh, who else is left? Raven. Or Raven. I think Raven's fine. All right, so we now have a full... Uh, well, full. It's ten. I like to use number. The, I usually use uh, fa factors of ten. So we've got a full crossbow or turret guard squad of ten. Uh, Dana is literally stuck, though. That's awkward. There you go. So hopefully we can get this squad home in one piece. And once we do, I think we're going to be ready to start cranking out some training. I'm going to give them a run order to Stoat real quick, and I'm going to jump back home because I want to make sure I give some orders for crossbows to be made. Uh, yes, you have wares. Honestly, I don't think we need too much from you at this very moment. Let's go ahead and do a order. Or Here's what I wanted to check. We wanted to add a couple more crossbows, so we need all these parts again. Tara, can you work on these or no? You're short on steel bars. I'm going to cancel this order from you. Uh, what do we need to do? One to one to one, right? One, yeah, so let's do three. That should be three crossbow uh, crossbow parts for three eagle's crosses. Is it three each or four each? Crap, it's four each. Okay, let me do the math on that one more time. Okay, so...
Okay, one extra, but I think we're good. Okay, that should be enough to make three eagles crosses, and uh, then we'll have enough for everyone. Do we only need two right now? Oh, that's convenient. Stork has one actually in his inventory uh, that he did not drop off yet. So only two. Wonderful. All right, so we're all set there. Hopefully that'll be done at some point relatively soon. Did we ever finish the armor? We still have a queue for black and chainmail, so somebody must be out of... Uh, wait, what do you need? Why aren't you working on this, actually? Are you out of space? Oh! We are having a bit of a inventory problem. Twid seam. Yeah, that's the problem. Uh, we could do... Ooh, I hate to do that. Let's jump these in here for the moment. Oh, I just did the reverse of what I was trying to do. We could honestly... Can we burn these pants or just drop them somewhere? We need to get rid of some of these uh, crappy items. We have a lot of rags and random things here that we could probably get rid of at some point. Does the item burner let you burn clothing? Uh, because if so, we need to uh, do that at some point. Okay, hopefully he'll be able to get back to work. He was stuck for a bit because he didn't have anywhere to store any of his goods. Okay, there you go. So, heavy armor. We've made all the plate jackets we wanted. Why don't we add a couple more? And we'll add a bunch of flared helmets. No, I don't really have the numbers right now. We'll get everyone queued up here down the road. What, are you, what quality are you making? Specialist quality? Nice. Very nice quality. Good stuff. Were we making any other food? We can't... Do we not have any bread to make uh, meat wraps with? We could... Uh, we could... Pause the order for cactuses, though. Why don't we do that for a bit? Let's see if we can get... Because we've got a bunch of raw meat. Let's do um, a bunch of dust switches. I like that we've got a stockpile of uh, straw flour, finally. That's nice. So we, we always have bread coming out, which is cool. Food, your food is mine. You think so? I don't honestly think so. Yeah, that's, that's not going to work out too well for you guys. That's a bummer. Uh, our new squad is getting some aggro on it. Who did you pull? This uh, sand ninja. Ooh, that's not good. Let's have Beep pull off to the side here. Come up behind. I wonder if we can uh, knock this guy out. No, we actually can't. Let's have uh, Beep and Boop fight this guy. We'll see how. We'll see the quality of our martial arts abilities. Did he just do like some crazy freaking flip? Dodge it. Dodge it. Oh shit, how many did we pull here? Oh, we pulled the full sand ninja group. Wow. That is a hell of an action shot. Okay. I did it right this time, you guys. Look. There we go. As, as our allies retreat, boop and beep in flight. Oh, that's beautiful. Let's move this off to the side, too. Put that on your background, folks. There we go. But, but they're about to get, like, shredded from behind. So let's have uh, boop and beep run away this way. They should be able to drop the aggro from these guys pretty quick. Did either of you guys get hit too bad? No, not really. That wasn't too shabby at all, honestly. Oh, crap. Quick to this other random group of people that we probably don't like. I wonder if Beep and Boop could take out this, um, this skimmer here. They do a lot of damage, and they do have a lot of health in all of their limbs. No, I think we're actually going to outrun this. All right, so we're making a beeline to Stoat still. Uh, let's have Boop and Beep catch up and maybe do a little bit of fighting uh, to help out. I think this guy is actually gaining a little bit on us. Or we're maybe getting athletics just just in time here. Why are you guys running so slow, Boop and Beep? Oh, Boop must have taken a... Oh, that's right. Boop isn't really all that great with athletics yet. I keep forgetting about that. Get him, Beep. Wait, can you knock it out? Not quite. Okay, it's turned its attack uh, attention on Beep, so we'll head away. Run away! Retreat! Ooh. 
Oh, I didn't catch that part. I think that we're just fast enough to outrun all these guys at the moment. Like, with, with their attack. I don't know how fast their attack animation is. No, almost. Let's see if we can run into this group of starving or whatever they are. Empire peasants or something like that. Do a quick, uh, quick save here. I like how he's splitting our group. He's literally pushing us to the sides because he's so freaking big. Alright, we're going to go right through the middle. Uh, probably not the wisest, but that's okay. We dropped off our aggro. And we'll continue our order to head to Stoat. Perfect. No problems there. Wait, who the hell's in, your, in the middle of our group here? Boop, you know what to do. Cut him down. Holy shit. <laughs> 73 and 103 damage in a in a one combo, in one hit combo. That is insane. So when you're at a certain level of martial arts ability, you just unlock certain certain animations and attack styles. So I'm guessing there's just a chance for that to happen every so often. Uh, but that was <laughs> that was mighty impressive. Alright, I think I'll get everyone inside, and probably, uh, we'll keep everyone in here for the end of this episode. And I will start them heading home again between episodes. That way you don't have to sit and watch me struggle through the desert. Does everyone have, uh, does anyone have any medic skill? Let's add everyone to medic. Okay, cool. We're patching everybody up. Let's, uh, check back home real quick before the end of this episode. So... I said I wanted to start getting a caravan together, and I think I'll do that... Maybe I'll, maybe next episode we'll do that because what I was thinking about was the uh, was the weapons and whatnot. Do we want to just have while the group is coming home? Do we want to maybe have Stark start doing Stork start doing some? Oh, by the way, Stork, don't worry about crossbow stuff anymore. Well, not the parts. So arrow making will leave to someone else. Cro crossbow crafting itself, yes, we will have you do still. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Why don't we just give an order to make a bunch of Falling Suns, because I think only one of us has it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll do ten total. Obviously, I don't think he can do it yet because his skill is not quite high enough. But, uh, but we just want to have some equipped with our main squad so they can tear through anything that comes in the way. By the way, main squad, what is your what are you at in toughness levels? You're at eighteen on dexterity. You guys are actually pretty pretty low on dex. How's this new squad doing? We haven't taken these guys off training in forever yet. Uh, 58 strength. Wait a minute. Does your dexterity follow your strength? Like, sorry, what, what am I trying to say? Does your... No, I think all of these folks, Ace, Goli, Zillikin, and Tanishian Maw, they've all been working on strength at some point. That's why their strength is so high, I think. Okay. I love that goofy ass run. So we'll split things up a bit. Why don't we get... That's actually really good strength and uh, dexterity stats. Let's get everyone up on their toughness for a bit. God, this camera is going crazy because I'm in the tower. There we go. We'll get... Um, we'll have all of you pull off. Now, what about you guys and your dexterity? Is it any good or is it still pretty low? No, it's pretty bad. So we'll have this group of our trainees work on their dexterity for a bit since it's uh, so very low. Promo, Milkman. Alright, you guys switch it up for a bit. You five come downstairs to the basement. Uh, Truth, you've been working on your dexterity for a bit, so why don't you, I guess you work on your dodge, I think. That's next. Alright, this batch will work on their toughness for a while. Uh, who else needs to get trained up here? We've got our main squad, of course. They're, uh... I think they're just fine, really. I guess we could do a little bit of dexterity. Did that open up again? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, this is attack and defense, right? I think it is. Uh, goalies, why didn't you come play with us? Come downstairs, please. I knew I was missing somebody. Okay. 
That takes care of that. We've got our folks coming to finish out some of the dexterity training. I guess we could have uh, Crumble John, Wing, Shrike, Griffin, and Doc work on their attack or their defense, whatever this happens to be. Either way, it'll be useful. Is everyone doing something? Oh, I accidentally clicked over on Beep and uh, Boop, rather. Okay, you guys are working on that. What about Crow T? Yeah, you guys are working on your stuff over here. Awesome. What about our uh, our shooters up here? You're now up to 58 in your crossbows. 61, 58, 61. Uh, aiming is pretty high as well. So let's uh, shuffle some people around, except Merlin. Why is yours so bad? What inventory item is not helping you? Probably this armor. Okay, now you're up to 53. Does anyone else have really poor aiming? Secret does. Okay, Secret, let's get you on a device here. Not armored rags. Do you have a spot for it? Okay, you do. Anyone else with really poor anything? Okay, for the moment, everyone is, is fairly equal, equal. So by the time everyone gets home, uh, Secret should have a good amount of aiming skill built up. So I'd feel pretty comfortable giving everyone the... 107 buildings messed, messed up save data. I'd feel pretty comfortable giving everyone the ability to have a Eagle's Cross at that point. As long as we're micromanaging the archers and not letting them just fire blindly into allies. That's, that's the only situation I'd have to micromanage. Uh, we probably need to work on getting the archers some gear at some point. Maybe things that aren't too restrictive. Is there anything like a uh, trader's leathers or something like that? That's what we might wind up doing. Just something that doesn't reduce their... It's like everyone gets a rattan hat, for example. Um, we could just give everyone like drifter's leathers, drifter boots... And, uh, Trader Leathers. I think that would just be fine. None of none of those will re really gonna restrict us. Oh, hey, the Leather Hive Vest. We meant to get those a while ago. Alright, I think this is a good time to wrap up. We are on the way with uh, what training we want. Our main group is... Or not the main group, but the, the new recruits are gonna head home fairly soon. We still have quite a ways to go. I will probably do this off-camera. It's it, the only challenge is getting them from Stoat to Okran Shield. Then we should be able to blow through Okran Shield, hopefully, and then I'll have them run the valley home. And by that time, I think our uh, our archer our armory armor should be close to done. Why aren't you working on armor anymore? Are you out of space once again? Actually, why aren't you working, Kai? Do we screw up somewhere along the line? You just you just can't haul armor anymore. Oh, did he just get stuck trying to fit between the damn barrels here? That's funny. Leather armor is not as high of a priority as heavy armor or chain armor, though. So I think I want you working on those before we finish up. Next episode, I will try to get more most of our main squad equipped as well. We'll see what we're short on. We'll try to get some of those. Falling suns passed out whenever we get enough steel for it. Oh crap, you know what? I turned off steel production a while ago in order to make more plates. So let's turn steel production back on. That should catch up pretty quickly though. Uh, Phoenix, you're doing what? You're doing everything right now, which is kind of nice. Let's also add in this iron refinery. Are you able to do everything on your own pretty much? That looks pretty, pretty fast. Okay, good. We're going to catch up on steel uh, steel bars. We were a little bit under on steel bars, so my apologies. I forgot about that. But otherwise, I think this space is looking good. I think we're about ready to think about um, expanding. I'll keep this episode up for a bit and see what you all think and your opinions of uh, where to move to. I can, between episodes, look at a different area if you'd like me to. I can try to load up somebody and have them run over there. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of... Um, I don't know. I mean, we already in, we're in the arid climate. I'm, it's a, a, we wound up going through a lot of farms to get the food that we required. So I'm hoping on green areas we'd have a little bit better luck. So I don't know if that's uh, misplaced hope or not. Good. We're making a little bit different now. We're, we've got a little bit of variety, so no one's going to lose their mind. Meat and some bread. It's great. 
surprisingly a little less nutritious than a dust witch is. But yeah, if you've got a spot that's really, really flat that you think that you found in the video, yeah, just uh, make sure you mention it in the Kenshi Discord channel. If you guys don't know, we do have a Discord for all of the Tobal Place community, so it's in the description below of this video. Just click the Show More button. We also have a um, Twitter account up. It's at Tobal Plays. You can always get the latest release information. I always automatically post any updates or uh, uh, release information. So as soon as an episode go goes live, it's always available through Twitter. So go ahead and follow me on there if you'd like. And otherwise, I think we're going to call that a wrap. Thank you all so much for joining me for this episode. And until next episode, please do take care.